guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be opening up Ancient Origins. Um, here's here's the box, sealed booster box. Um, one of the it's been out for a few years. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to get this box compared to a lot of the other older sets is because it has uh, Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre. Those are like the three main chase cards. Um, someone did some statistics on the pull rates of these cards. And it's out of 64 boxes, they pulled 441 ultra rares or secret rares. So on average, that's about six ultra rares or secret rares all together in a box. But out of those six, I think it's like one out of every five packs, you'll get an ultra rare. But the full arts are about um, half the amount. So I think it's like one out of 15. One out of 15 packs, you'll get a full art card. So I'm really hoping to get at least two full arts from this booster box. Um, I actually haven't opened up a booster box in a long time. Uh, let's just get cracking already. Um, some of the other full art cards that really aren't worth much but still look nice are uh, McChamp, uh, there's a Skeptile, Skeptile, Ampharos, Kiram, Tyranitar, Giratina, Lugia is like worth I think around 20 bucks. Um, but again, we're trying to get the, the Groudon, the Kyogre, or the Rayquaza. I don't know what the trick is. I think, let's just try three. Matang, Trainer, Golet, Larvesta, Malamar, Combi, Quagsire. Oh, and we already got our Full Art Skeptile, Mega Skeptile. I actually did another box of this and I pulled a Mega Skeptile. Um, but dang, check out that card. This might be one of the nicer cards from the um, that we're going to be pulling today. I didn't actually get any sleeves prepared. Whoops. So that means there's probably only one more full art out of this entire box. Um, that's what I think. I'm hoping to get at least another one more full art from this whole box. Maybe two if we're lucky. But the pull rates for this box like really aren't that good. Again, it's one out of six packs. Two, three. Uh, I'm not gonna read through every card. Persian. Ooh, look at how he's like hanging out behind the park bench. <laughs> oh, and we got Ampharos EX. So this would be considered a uh, ultra rare. So that's already. Two, two out of two. That means like this should be nothing really. This should be not a hit. That's actually really lucky to get two out of two. Um, I don't really care for Amphros or, or Skeptile. I'm really I really wanted a, a Tyranitar or Giratina or McChamp or Lugia. Um, besides the legendaries. Anyways, we're going to still go through everything. We got a Golurk. Golurk. Put him here. So that was not a hit. So that we're probably going to be running into a bunch of dry packs with uh, not really any hollows. Oh, this is going to make so much rubbish. Here we go. We got lightning energy. We got a. I don't even know what kind of card you call this. Half art, maybe? We got a Porygon Z. Uh, I'm thinking, even if we like. 
pull another bull art card, we might even want to stop because I know our odds are already pretty low after that. Ariados, Routes, Persian, Unknown, Gumi, Magikarp, and Vesqueen and Lugia EX. Not the full art Lugia EX we were looking for. But that's actually still not a, not a bad pull at all. We're doing pretty good. I I feel like we opened about six packs and got three. So that's already beating the odds. It's supposed to be one of every five packs, I think. One of every five packs we're supposed to get a ultra rare or secret rare. Maybe the statistics are off. But this, ooh, okay. There we go, another Vest Queen. Do I need a scissors? I think I still need a scissors. You know, Ancient Origins, I was thinking, you know, should I just go and buy the, the legendaries that I'm looking for? Or should I just try to buy a box and see if I can pull it myself? probably a lot harder to pull it yourself but because there's so many nice cards in this set I thought I would just try and do it on my own or at least try to see what I get before I actually buy what I want so we start off pretty strong with that skip tower and it seems like it's a little slowing down here one two three Amphro, Spirit Link, Lucky Helmet, Golurk, Porygon, Relicanth, Persian, Eevee, Energy, and Volcarona. Um, again, I don't know. I feel like pulling out one of those primals are like one of every like three box or so. Three boxes. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't listen to my statistics. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice Ente. Probably these cards really aren't worth that much, but they still look really nice. Um, again, the cards we are looking for would be... I wouldn't mind McChamp. McChamp's pretty cool. He's only worth like five bucks. Um, Tyranitar, Full Art, Lugia would be nice. Um, Giratina. But I was really hoping we could pull one of those uh, Primal cards. Or the Shiny Rayquaza. Maybe that's asking for too much. The Rayquaza is going for about 30 bucks, and you know, if you get that graded, it's going up for above like 50, 75 bucks. So that'd be completely worth it if we pulled any of those legendary ones. Mm, no hit. Um, I heard Pokemon is making more, uh, what do you call those guys? Um, uh, those golem dudes. I oh, forget what they're called. Those legendary Reggie Rocks and Reggie Ice. So that's kind of interesting. They're adding on to those. See, this is kind of why I didn't want to continue opening packs because I knew that we would basically be running dry for a while until we hit our next full art. It's like about one out of every 15 you'll get a full art. And I put it on the first pack. And Skeptow is really one that I was not, not that interested in, to be honest. Sableye, Level Ball, Flareon, Ball Toy, Katsuni, Quagsar, Golurk, Eevee, Volcarona again. Uh, 
Um, hmm. We still have a lot of packs left. Gotta stay optimistic. Um, it seems like we got Ampharos and Skeptile like super early. And then after that, it, we haven't really hit anything. Oh, we did get that Lugia EX. Registeel. I don't know if that card's... Eh, he's better than other ones, I guess. Still hunting for another full art card. This is actually a pretty good warm up for the Hidden Fates packs that we have to open. I think I have 150 booster packs of Hidden Fates. Uh, ooh. Gyarados. I actually really like this card. It's really not worth much, but. Still looks really nice. Put that over there. Um, after this video, after this part, I might actually open up some Cosmic Eclipse, maybe. I have some extra sealed Cosmic Eclipse to do for fun. Um, hopefully... I'm not too disappointed in this booster box. Hopefully there's something else that can kind of make up for these uh, bad booster packs we're getting right now. Ooh, Metagross. I like this Metagross. This is actually really nice. If we can get even a Tyranitar, Lugia, I know I keep mentioning the ones I want, but just keep an eye out for those. Primal Legendaries, come on. This, I mean, this this set has some really nice cards in it. It's just it's their low quantity. The pool rates are not easy. You can go like through like five or ten packs and really not get much. You might just get a, a regular EX. And those regular EXs aren't worth much at all. They're not, they're not worth getting graded. They're just like five bucks and under. Um, even some of the full arts, to be honest, are only like seven to ten dollars. Um, so this booster box cost me about a hundred dollars, I think. Maybe ninety to a hundred dollars. Uh, to be honest, might not actually be worth it. <laughs> might be better to just buy the card, the few cards you want. Vaporeon. Oh, we got the full art McChamp. Check it out, guys. Full art McChamp. I I really love McChamp, especially. Since I started playing uh, Pokémon Tournament, McChamp has just become more and more um, awesome in my book. Yes, uh, McChamp again only worth five to seven dollars for that full art. So instead of paying a hundred bucks for this box, you might just want to buy a five dollar McChamp card. Um, it's nice to get it packed fresh. Um, let's see, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have another 17 packs. So, basically, if we, after this one, we'll be halfway through the box. Skip through all this rubbish. Such junk cards. Violet Bloom. When a rare card isn't even worth like organizing it outside of the commons and uncommons, you you know it's not that great. It's not holographic. It's just not worth it. So we have 16 packs. We're halfway through the Booster box of Ancient Origins. 
Um, okay, this one's not bad. Shiny Volcarona. Halfway through the box. Um, we got 15 packs left now. No, wait. My bad. Half of the box would have been 18. It's 36 packs, so we're more than halfway through. I, I'm, I'm really thinking we can get one more full art. <laughs> um, we actually didn't get a whole lot of regular EXs yet. Besides Ampharos and Lugia. So, I am guessing we're going to get at least another two more Ultra Rares or Secret Rares. Ooh, check that out. Statistically, we should get another two more EXs. I think you get about six per box, is that right? Six per box. And so far, we've gotten four. So... Let's see if the statistics are right. Statistically, another two more EXs. That means a bunch of other junk packs coming up. Um, yeah, again, I was really hoping I could get something awesome. Um, probably worth it to just buy the cards separate as singles and we got nothing Magikarp and an Entei we have all these pictures of Tyranitar and Groudon and yet we can't pull any of those giant beasts but we still have some packs left Keep going. Um, Matang and Regice. Nothing special. If we can get one more full art, that'd be pretty awesome. We already got the McChamp and the Skeptile. So. If that's how the cookie crumbles, then it's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Mega Tyranitar EX. Okay, I honestly really like the regular Tyranitar better than the EX. I was like shaking the table because I was excited. Mega Tyranitar EX. Um... I don't know. It seems like it's not really a full art card. But I'll take it. This is actually pretty nice. Let's see. Let's get rid of this box here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? I'm thinking of keeping just a primal these these arts actually look really nice should i keep one of each one of each artwork i know that would throw off our statistics but i think it'd be kind of cool to save one pack of each maybe we'll see um out of these next few packs, if we get another EX, I think we're, we're pretty much good. I think we'll meet our quota. Two, three. Man, we, we pulled that Skeptile first pack. Okay, not bad. Jolteon and Porygon Z. Some nice hollows there. After I pulled that skeptic, I was like, oh, do I really want to open up another 35 packs just so I can get, like, one more full art? <laughs> oh, boy. I kind of do, like, saving a bunch of sealed packs as well. 
nice to have like a, a time capsule. So like 10 years later, you could be like, I kept these packs sealed. Now they actually might be worth more money. I mean, if that was the case, I probably shouldn't even open up the booster box itself. Eh. That's no fun, though. That's no fun. Here we go. One, two, three. Vaporeon, Magikarp, Meowth. Quagsire. Cottony. And... <gasps> oh. I was like, this is going to be something awesome just by looking at it like that. I was like, this looks like it's going to be something... Epic. It's just a Tyranitar EX. So this actually means we met our quota. Look at his like foot just stepping out of the art like that. Uh, I got too excited. I was like, what is this? Is this a Lugia or something? Oh, man. Kind of makes me curious. Out of these next seven packs, I could probably open up another EX. And I might even be able to get seven Ultra Rares or Secret Rares. Uh, I guess the statistics were right. It's about six in the entire box. And the full arts are half the amount or less than half of the amount. Uh, Ancient Origins. I'm so conflicted because there's some really nice cards. It's just like I can never pull them. Come on, Primal Groudon, the Quay Quay. Hmm, nothing. Okay, this will probably be the last pack I'm going to be doing. We're going to save these bad boys. I really like the Rayquaza and Groudon um, pictures. Okay, let's go. Poopa is just one of those legendaries I just don't really care for. I don't really care for his design. Okay, let's get something good. I'll do a quick review and then we'll open up some Cosmic Eclipse. No hits for the last pack. Oh, okay, let's see. So really, um, let's see. One moment as I get them all. Oh, we did get the Ampharos, right? Here we go. Ugh. So, can't complain because I did get at least six EX cards, two of them being four arts. We got Tyranitar EX, Lugia EX, we got Ampharos EX, his head is just like huge, Mega Tyranitar EX, nice card, and then our two forts are McChamp EX, which I think looks one of the coolest full arts. McChamp EX and our first pack, Mega Skeptile. Is it Skeptile or Sceptile? EX. So those are the main tool pools from Ancient Origins. And let's go ahead and move on to Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse, like their pool rates are pretty good. Like you get. You get a lot of holographics. Um, the only thing is some of those holographics, like those secret rares, they're just they're really not worth much. Here's the promo card. Miss Magnus. Comes with a little coin thing. So Lucario, we've got three baby Pokemon on here, um, 
what's the magic trick? I'm going to do three. Tangrowth. Primplup. Anorith. Trapinch. Flabebe. This is really testing my grammar and punctuation. Punctuation. <laughs> Tangula. Duskull. Oh, well, oops. We got our um, Mimikyu full art card. A trainer Mimikyu. Well, it's not actually a trainer, but it has a... I don't know, is that a gym leader? It's actually a really nice card. <laughs> we got Bravery and some Energy. It's a really nice card. So for one pack of Cosmic Eclipse, we got a pretty nice... Uh, Full art there. I think the one that's going for the most. Oh, so I should open this on camera. Just trying to tear this thing open. The nicest uh, trainer Pokemon card in this set is uh, the Ash and Pikachu. Oh, I'm sorry, promo card. Tech Terekion. Okay, I feel like they're really trying hard to mimic the legendary dogs. Every now and then, um, Pokemon get something right, and then they try so hard to like copy that formula, and then it just doesn't work out right. Blastoise and Piplup tag team in this uh, set. Um. Let me know what you guys think about tag team cards. I mean, I know right now they have a huge amount of HP. Um, like the GX cards right now. Oh, look at this Golduck. I mean, you could really just appreciate this artwork of this Golduck. <laughs> Pangoro, Heracross, Heracross, Ralts. Passimayanalala. We got a monkey. Jang Mo'o. Rowlet. Skrelp. Am I saying that right? Skrelp. Oh, is this a hologram? Oh, this is a reverse. Malo and Lana. I watched a little bit of the Sun and Moon anime. Oh, we got a Wishy Washy GX. Only 130 HP for a GX card? Okay, let me see what this says. This attack does 20 damage for each of your Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy GX in play. That's not that great. Uh, I guess I could do like close to 100 or so if you have a lot of Wishy Washy. Massive Catch GX. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and put any number of basic Pokemon you find into there onto your bench. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. I don't really see why anyone would want to use this Wishy Washy GX in their in their deck. Um, you could get some basic cards out quickly on your bench. The one, the one reason why I like the TC Online, the the trading card game online more than regular, like playing Pokemon cards just with a buddy, you know, somewhere else, is because you have to shuffle so many times when you're playing the game, and I don't know, I just don't, I don't think you should have to shuffle your deck like. Six or seven times a game. We got more Lucario coins. We got, um, yeah, you guys already saw the promo. Here it is again. Okay, this is the last pack. I'm getting tired and we have tons of rubbish. I'll show you what my rubbish looks like after this, dude. It's, it's, oof, it's a mountain of booster packs. 
<laughs> all over the place. Oh, I also, okay, let's just focus. Let's just get this done with. We got Fire Energy, Trainer, Kirlia, Roller Skater, Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog, Psyduck, Trap Inch, Lily's Polka Doll, and No Hit. We got Cradily. Cradily or Cradily? Cradily? Cradily. Anyways, if you know the correct punctuation, you can leave a comment. Um, here's all my rubbish, dude. Look at this. Look at that. I gotta clean all that up and organize all these cards. So that's gonna be fun. That's what I'm gonna be doing for the next 10 minutes. Anyways, um, stay tuned for when I open up um, 150 booster packs of Hidden Fates. Alright, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching my video.